Hello, this is a follow-up video for this Bechstein Model 7, made in 1937, and uh, we had to repair the bridge, and we've also French polished the piano, and do some minor regulation and various other things too. But just want to show you the end result. Um, if you look at the previous video, which I'll put a link to, it was uh, faded, a variety of fading on the cabinet work. Now, the, the wood here is what Bechstein described as palisander, um, which covers various types of wood, and we think it might be king wood. Uh, we were not certain about that, and one of our subscribers suggested that might be a possibility as well. But uh, as you can see, that now the piano has been repolished in natural finish, so um, we've followed the natural finish of the of the wood itself. And it's that thirty coats of French polish applied here. Obviously, it's stripped down first and brought down to bare wood, and then. Um, it's polished up after that, but I think we're pleased with the result. There's very slight difference in colour, as you can see with these fall here in the front, but it's integrated and not normally, of course, it's held up like that. Um, the sides of the piano, it's very beautiful, very beautiful veneer. So we're very pleased with that, and the top of the piano as well. It's very smooth feel to it as well. It's very important, the preparation before polishing to get the wood as smooth as you possibly can. Uh, that's the secret really to be able to then finish it off properly but um, so just admiring this cabinet a little bit now we'll look at the repair we had to do on the bridge so the base bridge here needed repairing there, there was um, it was split here the pins were pulling it over and we discovered that the, as one of our subscribers suggested as well that the angle was too great and my colleague's just done a quick diagram which we hope will help to illustrate what had happened. So basically what had happened, you see on the right here, the angle was too great here and it was pulling the pin over um, and it was causing a split. So we've changed the angle, um, we've routed out the off the old bridge cap and we've put a new one on. So as you can see there, um, that's a new bridge cap. Now the wood we've used here is beech. Um, because the frame was below the top of the cap, we managed to route it out without any problem. Some of our subscribers encouraged us along those lines because we were concerned if we wouldn't be able to get the, normally take the frame out. It's easy, obviously, to cap a bridge then. But um, we're we're pleased with the result, and uh, there's no no problem with these now. Solid as a rock, and uh, the angle, as you can see, is not not so great that it's going to pull this pin over. So it's a brief follow-up video for this Bechstein Model 7 1937 that we've uh, had to repair the bridge on. And we've done some regulations and voicing at the same time. Such a magnificent piano. It's the kind of piano we'd love to get into stock, but they've done this on behalf of a client. And the client said that the piano tended to be going out of tune. They weren't quite sure what the problem was, and it was the the bridge uh, pins moving in the tenor area was the main problem. But just every way you play it has a really lush sound. There aren't too many Bechsteins of this age around in the UK. Most Bechsteins date from uh, well before round about the turn of the century, 1900. There's plenty of Bechsteins from that age. We've just sold a, a 1924 Model 7. Uh, this is slightly different, beautiful wood, and we're so grateful for having my colleague who polishes as um, for the trade regards as one of the top polishers in the country, which is encouraging and um, certainly very very pleased with the, the finish on this piano. So thank you very much for listening.